Hey everyone, what's up? It's Lauren Carl and Berkeley Carl with Just Vegan In. And in each episode, we try to look at a different aspect of the vegan lifestyle. And today, because I'm here with my Pogo Berkeley, who lives with my mom in the States, we are going to do a vegan dog treats episode because I thought this one would like it and hopefully you will too. And hey, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe because believe me, you do not want to be missing out on these pup-tastic times. A lot of people ask me, can dogs be vegans? And the answer is yes. I mean, due to the fact that they are omnivores, they can. But if you are choosing to have your dog be on an all vegan diet, I really would make sure you consult with your veterinarian and really make sure that you do your research because you need to make sure they're getting all the vitamins and nutrients that they need. There are specific vegan dog foods out there, so feel free to look into that. But I think in my case, due to the fact that Berkeley started off as ever since she was a puppy eating some meat-based protein dog food, I didn't want to take her off of that totally just because for me, it is my choice to be a vegan, but you know, she hasn't really had the chance to have a say in that for herself. So what I kind of do, I make sure that her dog treats are vegan and then maybe her dinner it is meat-based with like some chicken protein and whatever is in her dog food of choice. But that works for me, that works for her. And as always, you have to do your research if you are gonna put your dog on a total vegan diet. You're all wondering, what are the vegan dog treats that are out there? Now, these are just a few of them. There are numerous ones, but these are some of the ones that this one enjoys eating and that we've just researched and thought would be really cool to mention. So one of them is Supa. Now, these are hyperallergenic treats. They're very low in calorie and they're quite small, so they would be really good training treats for your dog, your puppy, or even older puppies like this. Because, you know, you could always teach an old dog new tricks. This next one, I know this little puppy over here, she loves it, and this is Potato. Now, it is gluten-free, it's pesticide-free, GMO-free, and it comes in numerous different flavors. They have blueberry, she likes that one. They have spinach and kale. They have, what other ones do they have? They have a sweet potato one, they have mint and parsley, so numerous different ones. What this one likes about it, they kind of come in these um, kind of sticks. And I think it's really cute watching her eat it because she puts it between her paws and it kind of makes her work for it a little bit more so she could chew through it. So I don't know. I think it keeps her a little bit occupied. Another good one is V-Dog. Now this one has superfoods in it, which is obviously very, very healthy. And it's also very good for dogs that have allergies because I think they're using a lot of natural ingredients and a lot of ones that don't tend to set off allergies. Mm. Another is C-E-T, Veggie Dent Dog Treats. Kind of says it in the name. It's a dental stick for dogs. Now it is Z-shaped, so it helps get some of the plaque off, off their chompers, off their teeth, and it has a soybean protein in it. Ooh, she's showing off those pearly whites. I'm so sorry our actress Berkeley had to leave. As you could hear, she had to leave to go bark upstairs. Ugh, actresses. So demanding. <laughs> but the next one's really cool. It's Shameless Pets All Nature Dog Treats. What I find really interesting about this company is that they upcycle human foods that obviously humans have not eaten and have not hit the shelves. This is really good because it's great for farmers. It helps save on resources. It's good for the environment. And it uses no GMOs, no artificial flavors. So it is all natural plant-based foods. Oh, yeah. Puggle, what are you saying? Oh my gosh, you guys are in for a treat. Puggle wants to take you to Three Dog Bakery where she likes to get a lot of her dog treats. Now, this dog bakery doesn't just have vegan dog treats, but they do have a lot. So we thought, let's bring you with us. What do you say, Burks? That sounds like a yes. Let's go. And so we are here at the Three Dog Bakery in Westchester, Pennsylvania, which is the first dog bakery in the U.S. Yes, Three Dog Bakery, yes, founded 1989. Awesome. Now, now, what would you say the ethos is behind here? Because I know it's it's all natural and... Yes, um, our focus uh, in the bakery here is all natural. Uh, we focus on ingredients um, and products that don't include things such as artificial dyes, chemicals, flavors, and preservatives. Yeah. yeah, we like to make good treats for good dogs. 
And then maybe um, explain to us some of the amazing treats in the, the bakery or the barkery, as I like to kind of <laughs> call it, because you have a lot of, I would say, like vegetarian kind of treats for yes. dogs. Well, as I said, we do focus on the all natural for the bakery. So again, we don't use ingredients, um, anything artificial. So everything is all natural, not artificial dyes, chemicals, flavors, or preservatives. Um, we also don't use any sugar or salt in our treats. So um, we like to keep our dog's waistlines down yes. um, and their teeth intact. So no sugar, no salt. Um. Awesome. Well, thank you so much and thank you for doing what you're doing and keeping our dogs healthy. You're welcome and thank you so all... much for stopping in today. Thank Appreciate you. Your time. Because we're all animal lovers out there. So thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Now that I got you guys alone, because Puggle is upstairs, puggling around, doing the things that Puggles do. But I had a really good conversation with Kim, who is the manager of the Three Dog Bakery, where we took our little field trip with Berkeley to. And we were talking about dogs being vegans. Now, technically, because they are omnivores, they can. But sometimes I think for their optimal nutrition, I do think it is important that they have meat in their diet. They do come from wolves who are carnivores, and dogs need a lot of protein. And I don't think it's me being any less of a vegan by giving my dog the nutrition that she needs and making sure her diet is nice and balanced. I do try to make sure all of her stuff is all natural, no artificial flavoring or coloring because that isn't good for them. And I think humans, sometimes we try to humanize our animals. I mean, Berkeley does think she's a human and she also thinks she's an alien, so there you go. But just because I choose to be vegan and it works very well for me, doesn't necessarily mean it's the right thing for her. I do think, because I became a vegan because I love animals and I want to protect them and just have them be nice and happy. And you know, humans, we have domesticated cats, dogs, horses, and I do feel like as humans, it is our responsibility to take care of them. So I think that's a very good like vegan thing to do. And in taking care of them, you wanna make sure they get the diet that they deserve. So for instance, like I said, I do feed Berkeley meat. She definitely gets it for dinner. Some of her dog treats are consist of meat, but a lot of them are vegan. So there are ways that you could cut back so they're not maybe eating as much meat and they're still getting the nutrition that they need. So those are my thoughts. I know some people might be, you know, there might be some conflicting thoughts on that one. But like I said, if you do want your dog to have a vegan diet, you really need to research it. You really need to work with your vet and you really need to make sure that that is the best decision for them. As you can see, Berkeley is tired out from our field trip to the Three Dog Bakery and for meeting all those really good vegan dog treats. So thank you so much for watching. We always appreciate the love and support. And please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Just Veganin and follow me on Instagram at Just Veganin.